Hello and welcome to another action-filled edition of Badminton Unlimited. Coming up on the show, we hear from the champions of the first Super 750 Tournament of the Year, the Cellcom Axiata Malaysia Open 2019. Plus, Peter Gade and Wang Yi Han were in Abu Dhabi recently to lend their support to the Special Olympics World Games, and in particular, to the badminton athletes competing. And we speak exclusively to Yuma Yamazaki, who will lead Japan's charge at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. We begin in Kuala Lumpur and the Salcom Axiata Malaysia Open 2019. Finals day saw China vying for four of the five trophies up for grabs, beginning with the all-Chinese mixed doubles clash between Zheng Xiwei, Huang Yaoqiong, and Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongping. Wang and Huang, one of only five pairs to get the better of their compatriots last year, looked threatening in the opener but fell short when it mattered most. Zheng and Huang didn't give their opponents a whiff of a chance in the second game. The end was quick and clinical. 21-17, 21-13, as the world number ones claimed their third title in as many events this year. Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan dominated the women's doubles final against compatriots Du Yu and Li Yin Hui. The All England champions had lost the last two encounters to their younger challengers. However, in Kuala Lumpur, they were in control from the start, with Du and Li playing catch up for most of the match. Chen and Jia had little trouble cruising to victory 21 14, 21 15 in 37 minutes. 我觉得就是自己也没有想到，然后这一站可以拿到冠军嘛。其实，嗯，我们也是做好了非常困难的准备来参加这次比赛，因为我们全英夺冠以后，肯定，嗯，全世界都在，肯定会研究我们，针对我
喷喷泡，然后不太会自己失误。那我自己其实就失误本身就比较多，那我就自己在打的时候可能就是要去多注意这部分，因为我如果失误很多的话，我会让自己很困扰，就像第二局的时候一样。The last match of the day, the men's doubles final between Li Junhui, Yu Yu Chen, and Takeshi Kamura, Keigo Sonoda, was fairly one-sided. As in the World Championships final, the Chinese again conquered their Japanese rivals with some big hitting and astute defense. Li and Yu triumphed 21-12, 21-17 in 42 minutes for their biggest success since the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals win in December. 呃，我觉得今天我们就是这一周的比赛表现的整体都比较不错，因为我感觉我们的斗志很强，因为每一个轮的对手我们已经都非常艰苦，有很多的三局，所以说我们在打的时候，其实大家给我们很大的困难，但是我们都在一直去一分一分的打吧。呃，我觉得今天能赢的话，呃，我觉得还是赢在细节吧。我觉得其实每次跟日本这队选手打，呃，不管是对日本这队还是之前几场球，其实很很多球都是赢在关键分上吧。我觉得还是关键分的时候，我觉得我跟我搭档处理的会比较好一点吧。The HSBC BWF World Tour heads to neighboring Singapore next, and we'll have more on the Singapore Badminton Open 2019 a little later in the show. The 15th edition of the Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi was another smashing success with badminton playing its part as one of 25 sports on show. Held at the ADNEC Arena, the competition attracted over 200 players from 62 countries. My full name is James Wyatt. Uh, I play singles here in the World Games. I normally play singles and mixed doubles, but due to uh, some issues, the partner pulled out at the last minute, but it hasn't stopped me competing. I'm Kieran, I'm from Singapore, and I play singles and doubles. I feel happy, and I get to play strong opponents also. Lending their support to the World Games were Peter Gade and Wang Yihan. As BWF's athlete ambassadors, the badminton legends were more than happy to promote the Games and its athletes. I heard a lot of good things about Abu Dhabi, so it's, uh, it's nice to, to finally be here. And even nicer to be here on this occasion, uh, the Special Olympics, the World Games. You finally understand how, how big it is, you know, how big, a, big a, an event it is. And also for me to, to see that the goal here is to, is to take part, you know, is to compete on, uh, on different kind of, uh, of levels here. Uh, and the sport is what unifies everybody. Gade and Wang joined BWF President Paul Eric Hoyer to watch numerous sports being played at the Games. They were also taken on a tour of the Special Olympics Healthy Athletes program, which provided free health screenings, services, and education for competing athletes. Yesterday, I also attended a number of health screenings, and a number of sports events. My feeling is that here, 的整个对运动员的保障是非常的好的。那对于嗯、呃、运动员能能够在场上能够发挥的更好一些，或者他们还有一些心理辅导的这些这个咨询跟帮助，我觉得对他们整个的一个身心健康是非常有益处的。The Olympians also took to the courts, partnering athletes to play a few points. More than just an exhibition, this interaction shunned the spotlight on the importance of inclusion, sportsmanship and friendship. If I can inspire these, uh, of course, mainly the badminton players here to, uh, to take up badminton even more, to, uh, to show the passion of badminton, to show the fire of badminton, to compete but also to help each other, help your partners, yeah, to see that kind of fire and happiness, being on court with the, with the others is, is amazing for me as well. I think it's great that all these celebrities and famous people are coming around and meeting the Special Olympics athletes. I also think that more celebrities and more famous people should get on board with Special Olympics as it's a great organisation and helps you in lots of different ways. It'll be another four years before the Special Olympic World Games returns. Until then, there is a call for badminton to keep growing. 
我希望有更多人能够关注这个群体，能够关注他们，呃，来帮助他们，而且让他们从运动当中获取到更多的一些快乐、一些正能量，能够有利于自己的身心健康，并且能够通过体育运动。在很多的一些生活当中的一些事呃事情的处理上，会有很多的一个提升。Since the start of the year, the battle to be part of Para Badminton's historic debut at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games has been heating up. Qualification for 90 slots across 14 medal events has begun, and the world's top talents are taking their game to the next level in the hope of securing a ticket to Tokyo, including Japan's Yuma Yamazaki. Ranked number two in the world in the women's singles WH2 category, the Tokyo-born athlete shared how she's enjoying her para badminton career. えっと、私小学2年生から中学3年生までバドミントンを健常者の頃にしていて、で、その経験の後に車椅子になっているので、2013年にえっと東京で国体っていうえっとスポーツの。大会があった時にパラバドミントンを初めて見て、その時それを見たことがきっかけで、えっとこのパラバドミントンをやってみようっていうふうに思って始めました。最初に見つけた時は、えっともともとやっぱ好きバドミントンやれるとしバドミントン
The 31-year-old shares with us her balancing act as a mother of two sons while pursuing a career as a para-athlete. なんかこうやって転々としてるからこそ家では割とあの、パラバドミントン ここから で、2020年をあの、The Singapore Badminton Open 2019 boasts a stellar lineup across all five disciplines, with the world number one players, along with the defending champions from each category, about to descend upon the Singapore Indoor Stadium, bidding for the coveted Super 500 title. The strong field suggests the fight for all five titles will go down to the wire. In men's singles, 2015 champion and world number one Kento Momota leads the pack, with defending champion Cho Tian Chen seeded second. Apart from Shi Yu Qi and Son Wan Ho, who's injured, the top nine men's singles players in the world will be in action. Women's singles sees Tai Tsu Ying seeded at the top, with Japan's Nozomi Okuhara and Akane Yamaguchi in second and third, respectively. Top 10 shuttlers Prasala v Sindhu, Ratchanok Intanon, and reigning champion Sayaka Takahashi are among the seeded players, ensuring the competition will be intense. Marcus Fanaldi Gideon, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamuljo lead the seeds in men's doubles. Fellow Indonesians, as well as defending champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, are seeded fourth. In fact, apart from the disbanded pairing of Chen Hung Lin and Wang Chi Lin, all of the top 10 men's doubles players in the world will be in Singapore this week. Meanwhile, Japan continue to dominate women's doubles, with six of the eight seeded pairs hailing from the land of the rising sun. 
Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota lead the field, while current champions Ayako Sakuramoto, Yukiko Takahata are seeded sixth. World number ones Zhang Siwei and Fang Yaoqiong are the top seeds in mixed doubles with Japan's Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino in second. With seven of the world's top ten pairs in the mix, it promises to be a heated battle for the title. So mark your calendars from the 9th to the 14th of April for plenty of roaring action from the Lion City. Kento Momota returns to the Singapore Open for the first time since winning the title in 2015. He made history then by becoming the first Japanese player to win a men's singles Super Series title. It was also his first big success. In the final, he took on Hong Kong's Hu Yun in a battle that lasted nearly 80 minutes. That match is our pick for the BWF Classic Match of the Week. Good angle. Oh, he's got it back. It's a super rally. Oh, delightful. Oh my goodness. No, no, that's not possible, surely. Suddenly. Yeah, what a rally. Who has landed in? 21 17 confirms the umpire. The winning smash down the Mamolta backhand side yet again. Second game. How many times did we see that in the second game? Oh, we'll take it. Oh my goodness me!
good defence. And again, brilliant. Now Momota is beginning to look for that cross-court smash from Hu Yun. Well, that's it for this episode. Join us next week for a very special edition of Babington Unlimited dedicated to the Singapore Babington Open 2019. In the meantime, do remember to log on to the BWF's fan site, bwfbadminton.com, for all the latest news and features on the sport. Bye-bye for now.